But that was the only time. I mean, that, that generation, that generation of parents, they did the bare minimum to keep us alive, right? <laughs> Yeah, because uh, you've had you, you younger people in the room, right? You've had parents now that have nurtured you and talked about your dreams, and you're like, oh, you have so much to give and so much to do. When I was a kid, it was a series of like, go away. <laughs> go away, get out, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Wasn't it? Bed, fuck you, out. <laughs> Summer holidays are all around, out. <laughs> and they didn't even care if you'd been fed. They just, they just sent you off. This is why shoplifting in Woolworths, the pick mix was so right. Because we were just trying to survive. We're like the original Bear Grylls. Be walking around going, I've got a wet, wet, wet album and half a bag of minstrels. I'll be all right till tea. Didn't give a shit, did they? And the other thing as well, like we weren't poor, but we didn't have things to play with. Like we had to sort of find our own entertainment. So my brother and I were in the bathroom. We found this white plastic pot, a circular pot, and in it was a round circle of rubber. It looked like a little hat. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We didn't know what it was. No one said. It just looked like this fascinating little rubber hat. So I used to try and pull it over my brother's head. <laughs> and then, like, put it on my mouth, trying to blow it out. Like, <laughs> right? And then put it back in the pot and put it away. Didn't find out till years later when we were doing sex education at school. Now, this was a good day at school, wasn't it? When you'd walk in and the TV was in the classroom. <laughs> Watching telly! <laughs> and if you're really good in the lesson, as a reward, you're allowed to take the telly back to the library. <laughs> Can you imagine telling the kids that these days? Hey kids, if you're really good, you get to take the telly back. Take your own fucking telly back, mate. <laughs> you brought it up here, dickhead. <laughs> I ain't no waste man team. So anyway, right? So, oh, do you remember this as well? Now, this is back in the day when sexism now were at an all-time high, yeah? And if it was a lady teacher, the TV wouldn't work properly, right? Then I was going to get, she had to go and get a man to fix the TV, yeah? Because if it was a lady, she would just put lipsticks in it and then it would be pregnant. <laughs> This is the bullshit we were fed. These are our fucking role models, right? <laughs> Rubbish. So, they fix the TV, and we're doing sex education. And I'm at the back, not really watching, messing around with me mates, because it's sex. We're like, oh, bums, vaginas, willies. <laughs> <laughs> and then it came on the TV. He goes, oh, this week we're going to talk about female contraception. This round circle of rubber is the diaphragm. I went, that was in my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> I got sent out. Get out, Wilson. That was in my mouth, sir. <laughs> I got to the headmaster's office. My brother was already there. That was on my head. <laughs> so, so I think we put a hole in it and my sister climbed through. Now she's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. Oh, man. I still remember the first time I realised that Mum and Dad had sex. Remember that day? Oh, God. Yeah. I went to go into the front room. It was in pitch blackness, right? And then my dad's voice just came out from the darkness. Out! <laughs> and then mum, mum came out a little while after, scurrying. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be back so soon. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.